Hmm. I don't know, I just feel like something could be better about this setup. Hold on a second. Is that better? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we're watching Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you're new. Today we are diving on into a fun, nostalgic movie, The Curse of the Black Pearl, Pirates of the Caribbean, the first movie. Actually, the whole time I've been filming this intro, I keep alternating between saying Caribbean and Caribbean. You know when people like ask, are you wanna, like, or which one are you? Like, do you say Caribbean or do you say Caribbean? Truthfully, I don't know which one I am because the second I start thinking about it, I can't remember which one I gravitate towards normally. <laughs> is anybody else like that? Like, if you think about it too much, you're like, I don't know what is natural for me to say because I'm not thinking about it when I say it. Caribbean, Caribbean is one of those words that I don't know how I normally say it um, when I'm not thinking about it. So uh, I just keep alternating in this intro and it's probably gonna alternate the whole time. You can let me know in the comments down below which one is correct. I don't really know, but I'm excited to watch this movie today. Some might say that I'm a little late to getting to it here on my channel just because a lot of people were requesting it during the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial, but I kind of felt weird watching it at that time, to be honest. It, it didn't feel quite right. But now there's been a little bit of space between the trial and present day, now. <laughs> And honestly, today I just wanted to watch something that I've seen before, a movie that feels nostalgic to me. So the poll that I did over on my Patreon was a pretty fun one and included all movies that I have seen before, but that have been literally years since I've watched them. Like this movie, I can't remember the last time I saw it. I feel like it was in theaters, to be quite honest. This isn't one of those movies that I've rewatched a lot. I do remember a lot of key moments from the movie. Um, so I am excited to see those moments again, but it's it's been years. Like I would say it's probably been like, when did this movie come out? Let me see. <laughs> 2003, oh my God, I feel so old. It's probably been like a good 10 to, no. Oh my God, it's probably been like 15 years. It's been a long time since I've seen this movie. 15 years, wow, that's crazy. I can't believe it's almost been 20 years since this movie came out. That just kind of blows my mind. <laughs> I'm really excited to watch it here with you guys today and just kind of have a fun, cozy day, relive some amazing classic moments with people like Johnny Depp, Orlando Bloom, and Keira Knightley. This was such an iconic movie at the time, not only uh, because of the characters that were invented, mainly by um, our friend Johnny Depp. We love him over here on this channel, but also for like the music. I mean, I just, that soundtrack, the score just sticks with me to this day. It's just so iconic. So I'm really excited to just relive the whole experience with you guys here today. And uh, yeah, I do have a new addition to my room, a new sign. I love it, I think it's awesome. If you guys follow me over on my Twitter and my Instagram, which are listed in the description down below, uh, you would have known that Tyler gave me this gift. I did a little Insta story of us kind of installing it and hanging it up, and I posted about it on Twitter that he got that as a gift for me. It was just a nice little sweet surprise. Um, I wasn't expecting it at all, so it's a lovely addition to this room, I love it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this intro. I'm just excited to have fun with you guys today and just have a good, feel good, nostalgic summer kind of day. I just wanted to watch like a movie that just makes me feel like a kid again. And because this movie came out when I was so young, it does make me feel that way. And um, I'm just ready to have a good time. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Is this a young Kira Knightley? Well, not Kira Knightley, whatever her character's name is. Bad luck to be singing about pirates with us mired in this unnatural fog. Mark my words. Mark my words. <laughs> Think again, Miss Swan. Oh, it is Miss Swan. Oh, what? 
Uh-oh, whose umbrella is that? Was a ship ransacked nearby? Oh, this is gonna be young Orlando Bloom's character, huh? I don't remember how any of this movie started, so. Oh. What happened here? Pirates. <gasps> Jesus, hi. My name's Elizabeth Swan. Will Turner. <laughs> the classic, like, oh, I can't stay awake. Oh, uh, yes. The necklace. Has he said anything? <laughs> His name's William Turner. Keep the secret. That's all I found out. Good girl. Good girl, Elizabeth. Is she the only one that sees that shit? They all don't see it. Ah, Flash. Now she's older. Fast forward. She's sleeping with a candle on? Damn, girl. You're gonna burn the house down. Oh, that's where she keeps it. Ah. But she hasn't taken it out in a while. It's pretty dusty. Is her hair like that when she wakes up? Damn, I'm jealous. I wish my hair could look like that when I wake up. Beautiful. Isn't it? <laughs> May I inquire as to the occasion? Does a father need an occasion to dote upon his daughter? Yeah, there's a reason. What's the reason, Dad? I'm told it's the latest fashion in London. Well, women in London must have learnt not to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, corsets were, uh, corsets are pretty painful. <laughs> Same, Will, same. I have your order. Oh. Oh, right, he makes swords. Oh, Elizabeth, you look absolutely stunning. Will. We're having the classic moment of her coming down the stairs looking so beautiful and he's just like, oh, the girl I like. How many times must I ask you to call me Elizabeth? Aww. At least once more, Miss Aww. As always. Aww. Aww. Oh God, I forgot. How much I swooned over Orlando Bloom in this movie. Good day. Ah! <laughs> Elizabeth. Ah! <laughs> oh! Oh my God! He does such a good job of just like being smitten. Oh my God! It hurts my heart. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I mean, like I'm happily taken. Jack! Yes! Oh, is his boat sinking? Right. Coming in all hot and confident on this mess of a boat. <laughs> oh, it's totally sinking, huh? <laughs> Impeccable timing, sir. <laughs> oh, she's gonna faint, right? I think I remember her fainting. I don't blame her. Yep. Oh, she's so uncomfy. I'm having a hard time breathing. Yeah, poor girl. May I have a moment? Oh, right. Oh, she faints up here. This is where she's gonna faint. Yeah, she looks ill. Uh, you look lovely, Elizabeth. You look lovely and you look like you're dying. They tied the corset a bit too tight. Uh, this promotion throws into sharp relief that which I have not yet achieved. A marriage to a fine woman. He is not even seeing her at all. You can't see like she's in immense pain, bro. I'm a bit nervous myself. That fall, like, legitimately, like, could have killed her if she hit a rock. Oh my god. It's a dangerous fall. The rocks! Sir, it's a miracle she missed them! True. True, true, true. It really is. Although if you jumped in like that and saved her, like, it probably would change her opinion of you. Do not lose this. He's gonna do it. Yeah! Jack! Oh, what a beautiful dive. Holy <laughs> Oh, so that just had to hit ocean water? To cause a beacon? Oh, he's gonna tear off her dress. She's not gonna be a decent lady. It's okay. She was never really a decent lady. She was a, she was always a little sassy. Oh, he knows CPR? Oh, he's just gonna cut the corset off. I never would have thought of that. Damn, that thing is a killing contraption. Clearly you've never been to Singapore. <laughs> what? Uh-oh. On your feet. He just saved her life, but you're gonna treat him like huh? Shoot him! He, what? He just saved her life! Had a brush with the East India Trading Company, did we? Pirate? Hang him! Wow, lovely. Finally. <gasps> no, don't shoot! I knew you'd warm up to me. <laughs> Commodore Norrings in my effects, please. And my hat. The hat is very important. <laughs> I always forgot about 
about the like sexual tension on Jack's end. Like he always was like, oh, Elizabeth's kind of uh, kind of hot, but that she like never reciprocates, and she's just like, I'm not interested. <laughs> Gentlemen, my lady, we'll always remember this as the day that you almost almost caught, caught Captain, Captain Jack, Jack Sparrow. Sparrow. They're gonna catch him, I think. I don't think he's gonna get away this easily. Where are you gonna go, Jack? You don't have a ship. Okay, everybody who's not Jack, maybe stop. Oh God, you're shooting at random civilians. Oh, this is totally where uh, Will works, huh? Oh, is the master, is he, a, is he a drunk? So did Will really make the sword for Commodore Norrington? Will! <laughs> you're the one they're hunting. News gets around fast, huh? You threatened Miss Swan. Wow, news really gets around fast. And it was after saving her life. We're gonna omit that key information. Are you trying to get away? Oh. <laughs> and now, you have no weapon. No, I'm sure he's gonna come up with one real quick. Oh, another, oh, it's a hot one. Oh, the doggy, the doggy's like, I'll go again, I'm sorry. Oh my God, I forgot about them battling on this shit. This is so cool. The choices made just in this scene alone are so smart and fun. Oh, they're pretty evenly matched. Oh, but he fights dirty. Oh, did the drunk finally wake up? Nice job, dude. Excellent work, Mr. Brown. Of course, this guy gets all the credit. Poor Will. <laughs> What's that? Good job, Commodore. One of those guns. Is it the Black Pearl? Black Pearl? I've heard stories. She's been preying on ships and settlements for near 10 years. Never leaves any survivors. No survivors. Ah. Then where do the stories come from, I wonder? Good point. <laughs> I love how, like, I mean, obviously, like, Jack Sparrow is scared of some things, but I like how fearless he appears for the first, like, good chunk of this movie. He really just is so confident. I love it. These two! Ew, still not over that, ugh. Like, does it really help you see, man? Wow, they really got in here, no problem. There's no security. Don't open the door. Is this guy gonna open the door? Don't. Hello, chum. He just, this guy can't hear what's going on outside? This guy couldn't hear the cannons? He just opens the door. Man, let me see who it is. You guys need better security. We know your ear, Poppet. <gasps> this is scary. Oh. Hello, Poppet. Hello. Parley! Parley! According to the Code of the Brethren set down by the pirates Morgan and Bartholomew, you have to take me to your captain. I know the code. <laughs> wow, she's smart. She knows the pirate code. Look at her. That whole scene when he peeks through the door and the shadow covers her face because he's covering the light in the doorway, that scared the shit out of me as a kid. It's so well done. It's so like, it, it's so suspenseful. I love it. Oh, f Good boy. Goodbye. <laughs> this is so fun. I want you to leave and never come back. <laughs> she confident. She real confident. I'll drop it. Your holds are bursting with swag. That bit of shine matters to us. Of course it does. Why? <laughs> well, I suppose if it is worthless, then there's no point in me keeping it. You're gonna call their bluff? No! Oh! <laughs> She's so sassy. You have a name. Elizabeth Turner. Right, she lied about her identity because she thought that would protect her, but it actually drew way more negative attention her way. They might have like let her go if she said Elizabeth Swan, but then the movie wouldn't happen. Welcome aboard the Black Pearl, Miss Turner. His delivery is so brilliant on that. Oh my God, this movie is so good. What's your name? Will Turner. That would be short for William, I imagine. Uh-huh. Is he piecing it together too? Will, Mr. Turner, I've changed my mind. Ah. I shall take you to the Black Pearl and your bonny lass. All right, now you can break him free. But he did say take you to the, bla the Black Pearl. What does that mean? Like, we're gonna do a little tradesies? How far are you willing to go to save her? I'd die for her. All the way, baby. No worries then. <laughs> He's like, 
like, but I don't want to die. Like, I would die for her, but I'd prefer we don't do that. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Right. This is such a little fun physics exercise. Rash Turner. Uh huh. Let him have it. Listen, two ships looking for Elizabeth is better than one. Oh, is the plan to bait them? I think I remember. The plan is to bait them and then get the faster ship, huh? There they go! No one's on the other ship. No one's paying attention. Crazy. And then the, just the sharp stop, the choreography, the blocking. He's disabled the rudder chain, sir. He disabled, oh no, you guys, oh, you guys are screwed. He disabled the rudder That's chain. That's got to be the best part I've ever seen. Oh! Hey! How can we clean the turntables? <laughs> Curse you for breathing, you slut short idiot! Oh, this guy! What? The guy that was on the ship in the beginning of the movie. I'm going after the Black Pearl. <laughs> what makes you think Barbosa will give up his ship to you? Will Turner. Oh, Will's listening. Will is listening. <laughs> Just ring with his head. <laughs> it's so f funny. The hammy gestures. It just works, though. Leverage says you. I think I feel a change in the wind, says I. I love sometimes the way pirates speak. I feel a change in the wind, says I, or whatever. However he said it, like he quoted himself. <laughs> At the end there, I just, it's, I don't know, I love it. This is Aztec gold. Uh-huh. One of 882 identical pieces. Oh, so that piece is very, that piece is very important. I hardly believe in ghost stories anymore, Captain Barbosa. Oh, you're about to, he gonna show you. Food turned to ash in our mouths. Oh. And all the pleasurable company in the world could not slake our lust. The way they phrase just like, wouldn't satisfy us. I didn't understand that as a, as a kid, now I get it. <laughs> she can kill him with a butter knife? <laughs> a butter knife! All the scattered pieces of the Aztec gold must be restored. And the blood repaid. Repaid. Repay the blood! That's why there's no sense to be killing you. Yet. She's gonna come at him with a butter knife. She gonna, what are you gonna do, girl? You gonna swim? You're in the middle of the ocean. Oh yeah, they're all gonna be in the moonlight. Yep. Oh, this is a horrifying nightmare. This was such a good reveal. The monkey. Oh, that's, oh, that one, oh yeah. That one got me when I was a kid, but I knew it was coming. You best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in one. Oh, damn. That is a nightmare. Not a lot known about Jack Sparrow, for he showed up in Tortuga with a mind to go after the treasure of the Isla de Morta. Oh, he was gonna go after the treasure. He's probably grateful he didn't get it. That night, there was a mutiny. They stole the Black Pearl from him. But honestly, Jack won in that scenario. He won in that scenario, because he's not cursed. He escaped the island, and he still has that single shot. Oh, he won't use it, though, save on one man. Captain Barbosa? He's mutinous for his mate. Barbosa. I forgot about this part of the story. Oh, it's so good. The writing is great. Saving one shot. Then on the fourth morning, he roped himself a couple of sea turtles, rushed them together and made a raft. He roped a couple of sea turtles. <laughs> really? What did he use for rope? Yeah, Will's like, I don't believe that story. Oh, he's listening. Human hair from my back. Not your head though? Well, I guess it would be hard to get it off your head unless you have something to cut it with. Will is, Will's so suspicious. He should be. The cursed treasure of Cortez himself. Oh, they went and got every little piece. Damn, that's why they needed the necklace so bad. Uh-oh, the monkey. The monkey knows what's up. Uh-oh. I'm not gonna be your leverage. Nice job, Will. He was listening. Oh, good, he does use her hand. That's it. Waste not. Uh-huh, just in case. It's so funny because if Jack wasn't involved like in this story at all to create tension and want to get leverage to get the Black Pearl back, Will could just help them out right now and lift the curse for them and all would be 
good, but we having Jack Sparrow having a different driving purpose creates a lot of tension in the story. It's just a really well crafted story. How do we tell? It's not different. Oh, he would have killed him. He shot me. That's <laughs> how you know you're the least important pirate to him. Oh, she's gonna take the medallion. She could have just left the medallion. She didn't really need it. It was sure who sent Bootstrap to the ditch. The monkey's like, they're getting away, you stupid people. The medallion, she's taking it. Yeah, you fools. Oh no, Jack, he's a little out of it. Well, this is a great distraction for uh, Will and Elizabeth. When you marooned me on that godforsaken spit of land, you forgot one very important thing, mate. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Savvy. <laughs> Kill him. The girl's blood didn't work, did it? Mm-hmm. Hold your fire. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He has some information you may want. Here. Let me. Oh, they get to have a real vulnerable moment with each other without all the formalities. Elizabeth. What? Oh, the necklace. Oh, <gasps> she's got to tell him the truth. I thought I'd lost it the day they rescued me. It was a gift from my father. He sent it to me. And you never knew that that was a pirate thing? I guess you were little. Why did you take it? Because I was afraid that you were a pirate. She was trying to protect you, to be fair. It wasn't your blood they needed. Yeah. It was my father's blood. Your blood. The blood of a pirate. Oh, the melodrama. He slammed the table. Oh, he's mad at me. What's happening? Black Pearl, she's gaining on us. This is the fastest ship in the Caribbean. You can tell them that after they've caught us. Anything we can afford to lose, see that it's last. All right, throw it all overboard. We have to make a stand. Load the guns. With what? Yeah, you just threw everything overboard. Anything we have left. Yeah, it was a shame you threw everything overboard. Oh my God, we're loading it with cutlery. The alcohol, no. Oh, damn. Stop blowing holes in my ship! Not your ship right now, Jack! A spoon! <gasps> Ew! Take it out! Ah! Yeah, all the spoons and the forks! Look at that, they landed pointy end up. That's great. The locket. Yeah, you dummies. You left it downstairs in a ship that's being shot with cannonballs. The monkey's gonna go look for it. Oh my god. Oh, and the monkey found it? No way. The audacity. Ah. Look at how perfect her nails are, given the situation she's been through. Oh no. You need help. You need help. Elizabeth! Well, you gotta find another way out, man. Well, thank you, Jack. You're welcome. You're welcome. Not you, we named the monkey, Jack. Ah! The monkey smiled at that beat. Our hope is restored. Yeah, except you don't have the right person. Maybe, I guess they don't know that William Turner is, maybe Jack didn't get around to telling him, I forget. But they still could have killed Elizabeth. They were being so reckless. Although it's a fun battle sequence. Oh, well. Oh no. Will! Holy sh he got out so quick. Will. The zoom in on her, the stylized. <gasps> Will! They constantly are whispering each other's names romantically. No one, he's no one. A distant cousin of my aunt's nephew. Jack, the time for your bargaining is over, okay? You're not in the game anymore. Name your terms, Mr. Turner. Elizabeth goes free. Yes, we know that one. Anything else? <laughs> he's like, don't forget about me. He doesn't care about you, Jack. Sorry. Yeah, and he's gonna dump Elizabeth on this island. And that is not what Will meant. Will, you needed to be more specific with your terms, okay? I'll go so you lying bastard. He didn't lie. You swore she'd go free. What does it look like is happening right now? You need to be specific with pirates. I'd really rather hope we were past all this. Yeah, poor Jack being tossed out on an island again. That be the same little island that we made you governor of on our last little trip. Wow, so nice. You guys are awful. Jack didn't do anything wrong. <gasps> it's time for rum, it's time for rum. Rum, 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 rum. I actually hate rum. Fun fact, I can't stand it. How did you escape last time? Yeah, he's gotta be honest about it. It wasn't the sea turtles. The rum runners 
Use this island as a cash. Oh. By and I was able to barter passage off. Wow. He made up so many tall tales and stories. That's the secret grand adventure of the infamous Jack. He was here three days. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Caribbean life. Ah! Oh my God. And she's having an idea. She knows what she's going to do. Yo! 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 Oh. Look at her acting like she's drunk. They built a really big fire. I mean, to maintain a fire like that, you need to collect so much it's wood. really terrible for you to be trapped on this Oh, island. she's gonna tug at the heartstrings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The way he lays the hand down even is so stylized. Each finger at a time. <laughs> Man, he looks perfectly fine after a night of just being plastered on rum. I would be sick. Stop! Not good. To be fair, if this didn't work, this would be awful. Yes, the rum is gone. Why is the rum gone? The rum is gone. Because it is a vile drink. That it is. Even the most respectable men into complete scoundrels. Well, that's not why it's vile. It just tastes like You give it one hour, maybe two. Keep a weather eye open and you will see white sails on that horizon. Honestly, she's right. He was going to kill her. <laughs> he was going to kill her for burning the rum. Look at him walking away. Ah. She was right. There'll be no living with her after this. <laughs> She'll just be like, I told you so. I told you so. The pirates! They curse! They can't be killed! Don't worry, miss. He's already informed of that. A little mermaid flopped up on deck and told him the whole story. Oh, you guys are ridiculous. She's right. She's right. They're not going to listen to her. It's the curse. Begun thy blood. Excuse me. Thy blood. And... Oh. He's off the island again. They're gonna be like, what the f <laughs> Listen, he's really good at getting off of stranded islands. You don't want to be doing that, mate. No, I really think I do. Your funeral. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> he's like, okay, fine. What? Why? Well, because... <laughs> <laughs> His choices! Oh, Johnny Depp. His choices really just make this character so much better than it could have ever been without him. Wait to lift the curse until the opportune moment. It's pretty smart. For instance. It's crazy that he's touching the gold. Why would he pocket that? Is it a magic trick? Why would he pocket that when it would curse him? Wouldn't it curse him? Ah, yes, the moon is out. We love to see it. Oh, the fish, yes. Ah. Uh, so spooky. This scene was crazy. <gasps> oh, these two are posers dressed up as girls, like as a distraction. I see. Well, this is just like what the Greeks done at Troy. The Trojan horse? Except they was in a horse instead of dresses. Yeah. <laughs> he hates that this is his job. <laughs> Couldn't be more proud of you. But you know, even a good decision, if made for the wrong reasons, can be a wrong decision. Oh, he knows that she made this decision to marry the Commodore to protect Will. And so he's like, let me have a heart to heart with you. Like, if you're not marrying him because you love him, like, this is a bad decision. That's good. I didn't really listen to this conversation when I watched this movie as a kid because I was like, yeah, 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 who cares? And now I'm like, as somebody who's getting married as an adult, I'm like, oh, that's sweet of him as a father. Elizabeth, are you even listening to me? No. Wow, she is so resourceful. There just happened to be a little lifeboat right out there. Great. Convenient. I love how this whole time they're just a distraction and these two men aren't yelling to these women like, what are you doing? They're just like, huh, weird. Let's just watch them. What are they doing out here? They deserve to be killed if they're that dumb. Oh God. Yep. Lock yourself in there. Whew. Good job, governor. It's the honest ones you want to watch out for because you can never predict they're going to do something incredibly stupid. Like Will? Is that a cue to Will? Yep. Nice. Nice. Great. Great. Love it. <laughs> That's why he took a piece of gold. He wanted to make it difficult for them to lift the curse. I see. And Will picked up on it. Oh, she came in to, es <gasps> she came in to break them out. So smart. Yeah. Good job, girl. What a baddie. Yeah, it's horrifying, isn't it, Governor? Oh, your wig! Honestly, just let it go, man! He cares a lot about the wig. Ah, God damn it, I will be proper! 
Well, yeah, what are you, you what are you doing? <laughs> you can't beat him right now. He, oh, yeah, 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 he's, he stole the piece of gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. My. Yes! Yes! I forgot about this. This is such a, he's smart. I couldn't resist, mate. Nice. Oh my God. I love, this was so impressive for the time with the CGI. Just seeing them walk in and out of the moonlight and constantly shifting between skeleton form and human form. It was so impressive. It was so realistic looking at the time. Now it's like, it's still really good, but it's honestly even a little dated now, which is crazy how much we've improved in that regard. Just throw the hand away. The governor in here just like fighting with a hand in a drawer. He can't handle it. <laughs> Get it? He can't handle it. The way he runs. <laughs> but it teach you the meaning of pain. You like pain? Nice. Try wearing a corset. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Are you guys finally gonna kiss? No, it's too soon. Not yet. Ten years you carry that pistol, and now you waste your shot. Oh. He didn't waste it. Ah! Right, oh my God, the misdirection there is so genius to make you think he shot Elizabeth, but in reality, it's Jack. Wow. I feel. Yeah, he felt for a second and then all of a sudden nothing. Yeah, that's all he got to feel. Oh, the apple, he had the apple in his hand the whole time just waiting to eat it. Damn. <laughs> you weren't really part of this governor, but congratulations. <laughs> oh my God. Your fiance will be wanting to know you're safe. Oh, it breaks both of their hearts. You can see she's like about to cry there. If you were waiting for the opportune moment, that was it. <laughs> now, if you'd be so kind, I'd be much obliged if you dropped me off my ship. Your ship's gone. Your ship's gone. <laughs> and he's still gonna be treated this way. It's so awful. I mean, actually, to be fair, he did set all the people on the Dauntless up to be killed, so. Captain, Captain Jack Sparrow. That's all he cares about. He's like, you just can't get my name right. My title. Well, look at this. Look at this get up. Commodore. Elizabeth. Oh, come on, Elizabeth. He's so much hotter than Commodore. I love you. Oh, and now he's going to do this. Marines. I can't breathe. No, she can't breathe again. Oh, she's, oh, it's a tactic. Oh, it's a tactic. This time she's doing it as a distraction. Wow. Yes, Elizabeth. Yes! See, it just makes the whole moment in the beginning of her fainting that much better because it comes back around. What are you guys gonna do? You guys are surrounded. What are you gonna do? You forget your place, Turner. It's right here between you and Jack. Oh. This is mine. This is how she's turning down the Commodore's proposal. So this is where your heart truly lies, then? Yeah, Commodore, I mean, really, like, obviously she's never liked you. It's pretty f***ing obvious. And you've shown literally, like, barely any interest in her. You just like her because she's pretty. I want you to know that I was rooting for you. Will and Elizabeth just staring into each other's eyes in the background. <laughs> Not saying anything, just like, wow, you have such pretty eyes. This is the day that you will always remember as the day that you... Mr. Turner. Uh-oh. This is a beautiful sword. I would expect the man who made it to show the same care and devotion in every aspect of his life. Mm-hmm. Thank you. He kn yeah, he knows it wasn't the master who made it. He knows it was Will. That's nice. What about Sparrow? Oh, I think we can afford to give him one day's head start. Wow, the Commodore came around. Look at him being slightly less annoying. He was a blacksmith. No, he's a pirate. That's so much worse for your dad to hear, but he's happy you're happy, babe. <laughs> it's a good dad. Finally! This whole movie was just building towards them kissing. Oh, dad, can you walk away? It's a little creepy. 
And I'm happy you're happy for your daughter, but like, let's give her some space. <laughs> Drink up, me hearty show ho. Ah, uh, I think like there's just so much that's so satisfying about this movie. It just like tickles my brain in like the best way. This was such a fun trip down memory lane. Oh my God, I haven't seen this movie in so long and there were like so many fun little jokes and lines that I didn't remember and fun little bits that I didn't remember like comedically, but then certain moments that I did, but I was just so excited for like that iconic scene where they're walking in the water and they look like skeletons. I feel like I'm glad that I saw that movie back when it came out in 2003. I'm glad I saw it in theaters specifically because it was so iconic for its time, really. Like the CGI still holds up, the graphics and special effects they had to use still holds up, but it does look just a touch different than I think it would look now because our technology has just advanced so much in the last like 20 years that I think it would probably even look better if they remade it this day but it still looks pretty good, especially for 2003. I mean, it's pretty incredible what they did with this movie. Um, so I'm glad I saw it back then because I remember just being like in awe as a kid. And I remember being terrified too with all of the moments, like when they're hunting Pop It Down in the closet or when we first start to see what's going on and they're dressed with the pirates and the curse and the skeletons and that whole sequence where Elizabeth is discovering it and she's horrified on the ship. Like, I remember being terrified as a kid and just getting to watch it now, other things were landing for me as an adult that did not land for me at all as a kid. Like a lot of the more adult themed humor, a lot of the more flirtatious kinds of jokes, definitely like I didn't register that at all. I didn't care at all about the governor as a character. And I think I was a little bit more like, oh, he's a good dad in this time watching it. Um, even with the Commodore, like I remember just being so annoyed by him throughout the whole movie. But this time I'm like, you know, I really <laughs> see where he's coming from. Like, of course he would have to do hang Jack. Of course he'd have to do that. It makes sense. And in the end, he really came around and was really understanding of forgiving of Will. Um, it was actually kind of cool about the whole thing. So. Watching it again as an adult uh, was definitely a fun and rewarding experience. And it really just was so satisfying on every level. Like the whole style of it all works so well for a pirate themed movie specifically, but also just for the time that this movie was made in. It was so theatrical and hammy, but still really grounded. And I believe that a lot of these characters would make these kinds of hammy over the top gestures where we're zoomed in on their face, especially in like that fight scene between Will and Jack Sparrow in the blacksmith shop. Like there were just so many fun stylistic choices, but they just fit perfectly in this world. It's truly like a movie that flies by when you watch it. Like it doesn't feel long. It feels like it's just the right length. I also forgot what an incredible job Jeffrey Rush did as Captain Barbosa. Just the way he delivered so many of his lines was just perfect and also like the way he dies in the end just talking so much about how he wants to feel again he wants to feel all there is to feel in the world and he finally gets to for a split second but it's it's so short-lived and just that realization crossing over his face is perfectly done he, he does a great job in this movie and I think it's really easy to kind of go over the top with these characters, but a lot of the actors in this movie do a fantastic job of just treading that line of believability while still enjoying the slightly more theatrical and hammy moments, but it's not too much, it's just right. This was just so much fun. And yeah, I love this movie. I love it for what it is. I think it's freaking fun and fantastic. And I'm glad I got to relive it here on YouTube with you guys. But that's all I really have for you guys in this video. So if you liked it, definitely make sure to give this one a thumbs up so that I know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to check out next, especially if you want me to watch any of the other Pirates movies. I won't be watching all of them. I think that that's too much. I don't think we need to get into the franchise. Um, I'm okay with just watching this one if that's what folks want. But if you think I should watch the second one, let me know. I'm open to it because uh, I think I did see that, but I don't really remember a lot of it. So it could be fun to revisit as well. And subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.